my character definitely did it because he wanted the PR value uh, in Washington, in the country, of having done something good. Uh, because what he really wants to do is to be able to open up the, uh, the wildlife refuge. And uh, was getting hammered, you know, on kind of all sides. It's fair to say he also did become enamored with the whales. I guess it's pretty hard to come face to face with a gray whale and not, uh, not be, you know, impacted somehow. He's kind of playing to the press, you know, let's get some good photo ops of me and these, you know, big fish. And he leans over kind of saying something pretty silly. And one of them comes up, breaches, you know, to get air and literally bumps into him and kind of knocks him over. And he's stunned and delighted by the, the huge, vast creature that he literally just went nose to nose with. And I, and I think he's hooked from then on, you know. The, uh, the big oil man meets someone finally worthy of his <laughs> attention. This is a great story, an example of that, that we are, we are all more similar than we're dissimilar, you know, when it comes to when you somehow allow yourself to feel your common humanity. It's, it's kind of a, a lovely thing. These big, huge, soulful creatures that have been around longer than we have and just there's something mysterious and wonderful about them, yeah.